Hey everyone, Tony here. Hope you're doing well. It is Wednesday, November 14th. Hope you're holding strong in this crypto bloodbath we saw today, or like I like to call it, a sale. <laughs> a sale on crypto. But uh, we saw the markets tumble big time today, um, dropping significantly with Bitcoin going below $6,000. However, and I'm using Coin Market Cap because Live Coin Watch was giving me some buggy things were happening um, with it. So uh, it appears we've hit the bottom. I am i can't say that for, with 100% certainty, um, but it seems things are bouncing back up a little bit. But who knows? We don't have a crystal ball here, but we can take a look at some of the facts and some of the things happening and make an educated guess. But it appears we've hit the bottom. Um, this is definitely some manipulation for sure. Um, and we saw uh, XRP actually move above Ethereum, which is surprising. The market's tanking and XRP moves above the Ethereum because Ethereum took a bigger hit. Uh, and XRP, um, you know, was at 51, 52 cents and it just dropped to like 46, 45. So not a, you know, from, you know, penny standpoint, sure. But, you know, Ethereum saw a, a, a much bigger loss. And they're both, you know, around the same market cap percentage here. So Ethereum might move back up, but I just thought that was interesting. XRP was relatively, you know, to all of the coins dropping, holding pretty steady. Um, so remember what I said, guys, it's going to be a roller coaster ride to the next bull run. Can I tell you when the next bull run will be? No, I don't have a crystal ball. I'm not a fortune teller, um, but we know what is to come. Why? We are seeing the big corporate giants, institutional money getting in the market. We know about the over-the-counter purchases that is taking place, uh, which the media won't tell you about because right away as the market's starting going down, CNBC fund money. Oh my gosh, crypto is in a financial crisis. Oh my gosh. Crypto is not in a financial crisis. Markets move in cycles. The stock market just corrected multiple times, right? Um, and there's a lot of volatility in the crypto market because it's very young. And I went ahead and tweeted back at CN CNBC, nice FUD, no talk of the institutions buying over the counter. They never talk about that. Of course they won't. That's the little secret that is not for the for the masses. That's for the classes. And shout out to um, Alessio Restani. He's, he's the one who coined that term. Um, he has a great YouTube channel, a very smart guy. Information for the masses and information for the classes. And that's why research is so important and you have to read and you have to look at the big money, what they're doing. Not what they're saying on CNBC FUD money, but what are the actual businesses doing? And what we've been seeing, Fidelity, TD Ameritrade, ICE, right? Starbucks, Microsoft, the big players are getting into the market. And... Uh, Something I tweeted out, which I always mention to you guys, friendly reminder, markets move in cycles, right? Those of you that are new to the market, you need to understand that bear and bull. And we're in a very young market, so there's a lot of manipulation and there's a lot of volatility. Um, and don't be a prisoner of the moment because, and I tagged all the respective major people who are in this market, guys, right? Ice, blacked. Um, of course, TD Ameritrade, excuse me, Fidelity's digital asset, TD Ameritrade's Aris X, Mike Novogratz, billionaire Wall Street. These guys are not looking right now this this sell off here. They're looking long term. They know what's to come. They know market moves move in cycles. These people have been in, uh, you know, in doing stocks, commodities, ETF, different asset tradings for years, years. They manage trillions of dollars in assets, right? They know about market cycles. They know to be patient because the common man, for the most part, is impatient. They, the, the normal person wants to make money right away. They, they can't wait years. They can't wait even months sometimes. They know about that. And, of course, it goes hand in hand with the media and the things they put out there. So I hope that you understand these principles. I hope you don't just watch what they're saying, but watch what they're doing. And remember what we've been talking about. Despite this bear market throughout the year, we are seeing big moves. One such, Bank of America has won another crypto patent. I can't, I can't even count how many times. I'm trying to remember, maybe like five times or so I've reported about this in the past few months about them winning crypto patent, patents or filing for it. 
big things are happening despite the bear market. Why are they doing this? I, I always ask this question because I want you to start thinking about how think the way that they're thinking, not just um, with your emotions and the mo movements of the market. You have to think of this from a business standpoint and from, from the um, economic and, and, and also a standpoint of making money, um, it, you know, in, in a sense of investments and waiting for your investment to mature. So let me give you details here. A patent awarded to the Bank of America outlines how enterprise level institutions may be able to store cryptocurrencies owned by their customers now don't get me wrong i would not give bank of america my crypto unless i know specifically how it's going to be handled um but i'm just sharing the news here because guess what there's going to be a certain we are the hodlers the early adopters is going to be the mainstream people who are going to really don't care and be like yeah bank of america i have my money in the bank i got they have my crypto as well they can do that the filing awarded by the U.S. Patent and Trademark Office Tuesday contends that large companies, specifically ent enterprise-level institutions, may want to store cryptocurrencies for customers should they see wider adoption. There is an increasing number of enterprises which may transact with cryptocurrency or offer services related to them, including crypto exchanges and custodians, according to the patent. And some of these businesses may re be required to convert a deposit of some currency into cryptocurrency to them to then hold. So they're talking about the future of crypto being used in transactions. Of course, Bact is about to launch December 12th. And who are they partnering with? Starbucks. Starbucks, via the Bact app, you can pay for your coffee. Now, it's not a direct crypto uh, payment. It's a crypto exchange to fiat instantly. And then you pay for your, your coffee or whatever product in Starbucks locations. Um, in order to securely hold these funds, a business may therefore wish to use a single enterprise ac account capable of storing cryptocurrencies. The document suggests that a customer account may be credited with an equivalent value to their cryptocurrency deposits, though the funds themselves would be stored in aggregated enterprise uh, in an ag aggregated enterprise account. See what's happening here? Despite what the hell is going on in the market, and that's why I want you. I, I, I try to share this knowledge, and um, because I've talked to other folks who made money in the dot com and tech booms, and they share these principles with me, and and um, these little things like you you don't get your emotions involved, and you have to understand market cycles and watch what the big money is doing, not what the news is saying per se, or even what the big money is saying. Watch what they're doing, meaning mergers, acquisitions, launching new services, right? And many of these things are not going to make the major headlines. Like this was not on, in the New York Times today. This was not on CNN or Fox. No, this is picked up by a small crypto blog here, um, which is not read by mainstream here. We know crypto is very small right now. Now, next big news. New York regulators have, have grant crypto license to NYDIG. So as you guys know, there's something called a bit license in New York, which is really annoying. And that's why many of you ask about Uphold, why it's not in New York is because of this license. It's really annoying. Um, but, I, you know, New York is heavily regulated because it's the headquarters of Wall Street. There's a lot of financial activity that goes on there. So that's why there's so much red tape. So um, let me give you some details here. The New York State Department of Financial Services has just issued a new bit license to the New York Digital Investment Group, NYDIG, uh, allowing it to offer crypto-related services in the Empire State. According to the press release Wednesday, DFS has granted its, has granted its virtual currency license to the company, al allowing NYDIG to offer liquidity and asset managers management services to New York residents. See what's coming? Despite the bear market, despite what even happened today, progress is still happening. The infrastructure is being built out. Everyone's getting their patents, building out their services, getting their license, getting ready to push this market um, to the next level. And eventually their goal is to make it like the stock market to where digital assets. Remember what I talked about STO security token offering offerings, asset backed tokens. Uh, we're headed to the tokenized economy. That is what we're headed to. And Bitcoin was the, you know, the inception of that, um, uh, you know, the, the spark. And then, of course, it, it branched off to cri new crypto asset class as well as blockchain. And those 
uh, will will grow in parallel, and we're going to start seeing crypto and blockchain in mainstream. We're going to start seeing adoption everywhere. Um, and right now, what we're seeing, like I said, it's going to be a roller coaster to to that growth because it's so young. Um, further, DFS has uh, granted NYD. IG Crust Company, a, a subsidiary to the main entity, permission to operate as a limited purpose trust company. As such, NYDIG is now able to offer custody and trade execution services, including services for Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash, Ether, XRP, and Litecoin. Remember what I, the analogy or the little, the little story or I always share with you guys? Yes, Mr. Wealthy Person, I will buy you $10 million in XRP, $5 million in Bitcoin, $13 million in Ethereum. Yes, and it will be stored in our safe and secure custody service, and I will send you your certificate of ownership. Along with that, I will be providing you with weekly reports of how your portfolio is doing. White glove service. That's where we're heading. And uh, trust me when I tell you that this sell-off was by design, and trust me when I tell you, there's a lot of uh, people who bought the dips. I bought some today. I'm not a financial investor, investment advice, advisor. Do your own research. But I'm just telling you what I, what I did. And uh, trust me when I tell you, they're picking up as much as they can over the counter as well. And, and um, they're going to keep filling their bags. So as you can see, things are still progressing because these people are not prisoners of the moments. They're not involved with their emotions. They're looking to make money and they're making their investments, setting up their services for the long term. Now, some other major news, crypto exchange KuCoin raises $20 million from IDG Matrix Neo Global. Now, if, if you didn't know anything about crypto and you, and you saw them, what happened with the market today, you'd be like, what the hell is, is the people at, uh, uh, IDG Matrix and Neo Global idiots, they just gave $20 million to an exchange. Why would they do that? Because this is a new asset class on the rise. And once again, they're not prisoners of the moment. Look at what they're doing, not what's being said by the media or even these people if they come out and say something. Like guys like Jamie Dimon. Bitcoin's garbage, crypto's a scam, you're an idiot if you buy it. But trust me when I tell you, they are buying over the counter quietly. Uh, because all of these banks are motivated by profit, even Jamie Dimon. And he's the CEO of J JP Morgan. So you, you, you have to understand these underlying principles and, and how business economics and making money and greed works here. Um, Singapore-based crypto exchange KuCoin has raised 20 million in a series A funding backed by IDG, IDG Capital Matrix Partners and Neo Global Capital. KuCoin announced the funding Wednesday saying that the three firms had not only invested but formed partnerships with the exchange in order to bring cryptocurrency to the masses. So I hope you guys get it here. I'm sharing facts. I'm not making this up. I'm not pulling it out of the air. You know what I'm saying? I'm showing you the fact. You can go read and look this up yourself. Validate it for yourself. But it is clear as day. The writing is on the wall. So those of you who are new to the market, don't be phased by these major sell-offs. It's because we're in the early stages. Those of you who've been in around around the market for a while, um, you don't, you know this. I don't think I need to remind you guys about how these things, how this all works. Um, now, speaking of continued growth and progression, CoinMine is looking to unleash crypto mining onto the masses. So they're looking to provide a, a plug and play mining device that looks like a, you know, like a game console, like your Xbox or something, right? Um, or a computer. And guess what? This, this is going to be the future, guys. As crypto mining uh, technology evolves and becomes more efficient, where it's not draining significant energy, um, expect people to have now mining rigs in their home. It's going to become a thing. I'm not saying it's going to happen even next year, but as the years come and this market matures and you start seeing marketing around crypto and blockchain and your marketing from Fidelity and TD Ameritrade and whoever else, 
people are going to start buying these devices that are going to be in Best Buy. They're going to be on Amazon and they're going to hook it up in their home and allow uh, and then run it and earn and mine different cryptos and make money. This is what's going to start happening. Um, CoinMine is building a plug and play mining device, CoinMine One, which comes with a compatible mobile app and proprietary monitoring system the device will retail for 799 dollars and is available for pre-order in two colors white and clear coin mine can mine multiple cryptos including ethereum monero and zcash uh, while mining plays a role a vital role in securing decentralizing crypto networks it is too often reserved for technologically proficient individuals large businesses and in the crypto ecosystem, CoinMain aims to change that. The company is building a plug and play mining device, um, enabling anyone to mine a host of cryptocurrencies from the comfort of their home, homes and or offices. The device provides a new level of accessibility into an otherwise confusing activity and makes crypto easy for everyone. Very interesting. See what I'm talking about? Despite this whole bear market, they've been using their money and resources to build out mining devices that they're going to sell to the masses. Um, I may look into, you know, I, I may try to talk, contact these guys and maybe interview them and have them talk a bit about this because I, I want to learn more like how much electricity is going to take. Is it going to be expandable where I can add more cryptos? What if I wanted, you know, to mine Bitcoin or some other coin, right? So uh, I'll try to get in contact with these people and see uh, if I can talk to them because this this is made for the masses. This this is a product that, once again, you could see in Best Buy or wherever, right? It, it's your tech, your tech retailers. So big thing is happening. Don't be fooled by sell loss and manipulation. Now onto some um, Twitter, uh, excuse me, Twitter XRP news here so we all know that coinbase custody got the approval to list xrp um this is not coinbase.com this is coinbase custody i shouldn't say list i should say they they, they have the ability now to to provide cus custodian services for xrp along with other cryptocurrencies so see through nick shout out to him um uh saw this and and tweeted about it and as you see here if you go to custody.coinbase.com they of course have the xrp or ripple logo here um, I've said in the past, XRP doesn't need Coinbase. Coinbase needs XRP, and I believe they will eventually list XRP. I think once XRP starts pumping, um, they're going to, and, and starts getting some momentum, they're going to uh, list it so they can make money off of it. Um, and and they've already added it in Coinbase.com as a crypto you can track but not purchase. And we've seen that there a fire has been lit under their ass because they're losing market share and they started listing you know a whole bunch of different tokens and moving it faster and trying to get this done uh, because they, they remember we talked about this they got greedy because they were sitting on so much Bitcoin and Ethereum and they wanted to charge coins millions of dollars to be listed uh, but now Binance and Bitrex are eating their lunch and a whole bunch of competitors are popping up uh, next news here Paycent I've talked a bit about them before. Um, Paycent is a financial platform that aims to deliver a, a seamless payment process for customers and merchants alike across countries. Well, they tweeted the following today. Market calendars. XRP will be available on Paycent app on December 7th through the Paycent card. Uh, you can spend Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin, Dash, Binance, uh, to uh, Coin, whatever, throughout the world with the Paycent app. So uh, continued listing and adoption of XRP. Uh, which is a great sign for the next bull run. Uh, also, local coin swap, a peer-to-peer -peer exchange where you can directly trade any cryptocurrency using any conceivable payment method in a ge geographical location has begun work on the process of implementing XRP. So they mentioned that in a blog post where they said, we have now begun on the uh, work on the process of implementing Ripple, the third largest cryptocurrency. Um, so I haven't heard about them and also shout out to Leonidas for, for highlighting this, but uh, continued adoption there and something for you guys who are in the UK uh, to celebrate our fee. This is some exchange, by the way, um, they are new UK peer to peer fiat on ramp for cryptocurrency. And they said to celebrate our fiat to crypto exchange being fully operational this Friday, the 16th of November, we're giving away 
1000 XRP as a warm up will give away 100 XRP as well. Good luck. And then um, uh, it says here, yes, it's only in the UK. So those of you in the UK who watch my videos and subscribe, thank you for your support. And why not enter? Try to win 1000 XRP, man. Uh, I'm all about getting free crypto where I can. Um, so this is cool. Um, so there you have it, guys. I uh, hope you're not down or depressed or worried or anything like that. Those of you are new in the market, I understand this may be all like, whoa, what the hell just happened? But uh, this is nothing new. I've been in the market since late 2016, and I've seen so many big drops um, and sell-offs, even the biggest from the last bull run. We saw a huge, 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 huge correction, right, in Q1 of 2018. And um, it's been a bear market all year. Um, and of course, like I said, because of the volatility, the young market, there's manipulation, there's going to be a roller coaster ride, um, you know, to the growth up. But eventually, as more money comes in and there's more regulations around it and, um, you know, the market just grows, there's going to be more stability. So I hope you understand that. I hope you understand what's going on here. And um, like I said, it's important to understand these core principles of what's happening so that when these things happen, you're like, ah, oh, okay seen this before um it, uh, it, we just have to be patient and and ride it out and let let the infrastructure be set up let the big money do their thing and i'm telling you guys watch come december and into next year we're probably going to start seeing a ton of ads you know ads on billboards on buses trains whatever um in magazines as well as on tv on the internet of Crypto, uh, cryptocurrency trading, cryptocurrency custodian services, and cryptocurrency investing, it's coming. It's coming because why the natural part of running a business, what do you have to do? You have to market that business to get exposure, to get drive uh, demand, right? Marketing is about driving demand and of course brand awareness and um, expect like backed, what do you think they're going to start doing? Especially when they're partnered with Starbucks and Microsoft. Um, the big part of that is Starbucks, right? They're going to start marketing. Hey, invest in this new emerging asset class. And um, of course, TD Ameritrade and Fidelity, they've been around a long time. They have strong brands. So it's going to be very easy for them to have marketing budget like crazy to start running ads. Uh, we've also been seeing ads from, you know, other um from other uh, existing trading, well-known trading services like eToro and things like that. So uh, big things are, are to come. Be patient, keep holding, um, and don't be phased by these things. I know it's a big drop-off, but uh, I think we've hit the bottom, and let's see how it plays out. Um, like I've said before, I don't have a crystal ball. I can't predict the future. So uh, I could be wrong when I say that, you know, the bull run might happen at the end of the year. But just want you guys to understand that. But I tried to look at the facts and make some educated guess. So, guys, what do you think about this? Leave your thoughts and comments below. Thumbs up if you like this video. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Don't forget to follow me on Facebook and Twitter. And, uh, you know, if you find this helpful, please share it with your friends and family. And uh, it would be great to help grow the channel here so we can spread facts and not over speculating and look at things logically. So thank you guys for your support. And I will talk to you all later.